So in the last video, you have learned that fourth house is your heart. Right? Fourth house represents the heart. Because it represents the heart, it's all, it also represents love and love marriage. Not only love marriage, in any type of marriage, the fourth house is very, very important. What you call love is basically coming from the fourth house. And with a deeper analysis of the fourth house, we can find how much love will be there in your relationship and what you can expect out of your relationship. First thing that I must have told in the previous video as well, I will want to repeat again. What pleases your heart or the heart of someone whom you want to be in relationship with or whom you want to impress is also seen with respect to the fourth house. Right? So as per the planets influencing the fourth house, placed in the fourth house, expecting the fourth house, it can be found out that what will please the native. For example, when sun is situated in the fourth house or sun is influencing the fourth house, then you respect. If you respect the native, they love it. Right? If you show the native that they are important, they will love it. When moon is connected to the fourth house, then it is the emotional care that you show towards them is what their heart. In case of Mars connected to the fourth house, authority that you give to the people, if you work according to their wishes, is what moves their heart. If you, you know, follow their orders wholeheartedly, they will fall in love with you. Mercury connected to the fourth house, love, intellect and intellectual people, the solutions that you provide will make people fall in love. Now, this person who is having Mercury in the fourth house, if you provide them solutions, if you come out as an intelligent person in front of them, then they will start liking you, right? Fourth house is what people like in you. When Jupiter is connected to the fourth house, then it is intelligence, divinity, Spirituality is what impresses this person. Venus connected to the fourth house, luxuries, lavish life, carefree attitude and fashion is what impresses this person. Saturn connected to fourth house, how do you treat with people lower than you? The resources that you have and how do you handle dejection, depression is what impresses these people. When Rahu is connected to the fourth house, then street smartness, your cleverness, and how do you tackle people? How do you tackle situations? How easily you tackle these things? How firm you are while dealing with problems is what impresses these people. And when Ketu is connected to the fourth house, then the carefree attitude. Then, you know, doing everything by yourself, by being self-dependent, you can impress these people. So primary point is what impresses someone should be seen with respect to fourth house planet situated in fourth house planet expecting the fourth house and having the horoscope of the one you want to be in relationship with. You can easily find out what will impress them and you can do the same things to impress, the, impress these people. Point one, be in relationship with them, marry them, whatever. Secondarily, not only that, for married couple also, you should understand what your husband or wife likes. And if you do things to please them, of course, it will translate into a beautiful, loving relationship. So this is what you should do. In fact, not only that, many a time, see, recently what I have seen that people are taking sexuality from the 12th house, useless thing. Some people think that 12th house is sleep, 12th house is not sleep. Also, even if you take 4th house, 12th house as sleep, then you don't sleep on, like, you know, like if you take 12th house as sexuality and you take 12th house as sleep also, then you are saying that people only engage in sexuality when they are sleeping. <laughs> or after sexuality, people generally sleep, which is only half the truth. Sometimes people take sexuality from the 8th house, which is also not true, right? 8th house indicates hidden organs. It generally indicates NS. 
right and buttocks so it does not indicate sexuality in completion right seventh house is the house of sexuality right because seventh house is the house of marital affairs and everything and fourth house is also the house of sexuality right because fourth house is the house of virginity when you have to see that whether the life partner is dedicated or if the person will be dedicated or devo dedicated devoted to you or not fourth house will tell you that people having benefic planet connected to the fourth house are more likely to remain dedicated and devoted to their life partners as compared to those people who have malefics connected to their fourth house who have a natural tendency of cheating or rather you say going quickly for a better option and not giving chance to the person not you know trusting enough the native basic not trusting enough their partners basically malefics connected to the fourth house are opportunistic people as soon as they get a better chance they will not think twice before cheating and moving on to the next good option in the same manner talking of female horoscope and why only restricted to females you should take it to male horoscopes also virginity is seen from the fourth house so when the fourth house is being influenced by benefics it does indicate that before marriage the native was virgin had no sexual encounter as such whereas when malefics are connected to the fourth house it does indicate that before marriage also the native may have sexual encounters and if the fourth house is connected with multiple malefics then in that particular scenario before marriage itself the native is corrupt corrupt to a great extent have multiple sexual partners so look at the fourth house will also tell you about the status of virginity specifically <clears throat> these are the relationships before marriage right so this is loss of virginity before marriage is what is indicated by the fourth house fourth house indicates sexuality is also very clear from the hint of gemini who says chape chandre anavrte deshe that means if moon is connected to the fourth house in that particular scenario person generally have sexual encounters in open area under sky open places or you should say that the first sexual encounter or generally the person likes to have sexual encounters and in open space under open sky not inside the room right so virginity also comes from the fourth house and not only that also you know general sexual experiences if we are talking of that general sexual experiences are also seen with respect to fourth house so generally when fourth house is connected with malefics generally in the life of these people you know physical relationship starts with a fight ends with a fight and generally physical relationships are more like you know like trying to convince the life partner and you know getting the sexual pleasure sometime not very often right first pleasing the life partner then making the life partner ready for it and all of these things whereas on the other hand if there are benefits connected to the fourth house then sexuality is a very pleasant experience generally sexuality is you know starts with a good foreplay satisfactorily ends there is good feeling of love and contentment in sexuality and there is no dearth of sexuality there is no fighting for sexual uh, relationship there is no fighting for having the company of the life partner and this is also what should be clearly understood most importantly how was the sexual encounter previously or whether how was the a uh, previous sexual encounter that if seen through prashna it becomes more effective because talking of horoscope you know there will be only one type of influence on the fourth house or a fixed influence on the fourth house throughout the lifetime and then saying that every sexual experience in life is same does not make more of a sense so in such scenario you should conveniently switch to prashna whenever such conditions arise in front of you right first sexual encounters first sexual encounter in which condition it happens right also seen with respect to the fourth house right so generally when moon venus and jupiter are connected to the fourth house then generally the first sexual encounter happens at home other planets indicate that the first sexual encounter happens at some other places in this scenario also if mercury is there it is the place of a friend if sun is there mars is there then it is a governmental building 
or a hotel you can say right so in this way all the details about sexuality and all these things can also be found from the fourth house right for women see indian society what is happening that after marriage woman will leave her home and will start living with her husband generally independent males also after marriage they should start living separately i believe in this concept that after marriage both the couple husband and wife should start living separately so that they can give maximum time to each other family does not interfere of course your family is your family until you are married after you are married your wife and children are your family and you should live separately but that's my concept talking of the indian scenario it is woman who leaves her family after marriage and because fourth house indicates family also in the case of a woman fourth house have a very strong role and because generally traditionally speaking in indian society <clears throat> for women generally after marriage only the first sexual encounter comes so for the timing of marriage in female horoscope fourth house also becomes very important so first thing is there if there are benefits connected to fourth house it does indicate happiness of home etc in those cases when benefits are connected to the fourth house specifically in the case of a female horoscope marriage should not be predicted in the dasha antar dasha of the benefit planet connected to the fourth house because it will ensure that the native continues to live in her home and does not <clears throat> have to change whereas when malefics are connected to the fourth house in the dasha antar dasha of those malefics in female horoscope marriage can be predicted because malefics will be afflicting the fourth house which will indicate that native have to leave her home and because an in indian society leaving home for a lady also means marriage while predicting for marriage you should also keep an eye over malefics connected to the fourth house and in the dasha antar dasha of the malefics connected with the fourth house provided the fact that other conditions are also favorable marriage or what you call bidai right leaving your home and shifting with your husband can also be predicted should be predicted in fact what i have seen that many a times because you don't consider fourth house seriously your predictions for marriage can be little bit off or it can completely go incorrect as well so a proper analysis of fourth house specifically in the case of a female is very important another thing is in both the cases because fourth house indicates love affair and all these things falling in love if you are talking of that when i will have my first relationship it is indicated by the fourth house right so when a strong planet is exalted mulu trikon varg uttam so rashi these are strong planets right when a strong planet is connected to the fourth house you can say that in the dasha antar dasha of this particular planet relationship will start and as long as this dasha antar dasha will sustain the feeling the love will be there in life so start of relationships etc can also be timed with it and provided the fact that when this strong planet connected to the fourth house is also connected to venus or seventh lord then at appropriate time most preferably in the dasha or antar dasha of a strong planet also conjoined with the dasha antar dasha of this powerful planet connected to the fourth house and also connected to venus and seventh lord does indicate relationship or love converting into marriage as well so in the case of female horoscope the fourth house should be very seriously seen because bidai will happen leaving your home and shifting with your husband will happen and in the case of people in love also fourth house should be seen minutely to predict the time when this love will convert into love marriage not only that in relationships also a strong planet connected to the fourth house four, three four types of connections can be there planet can be situated in the fourth house planet can be aspecting the fourth house planet can be situated with the fourth lord aspecting the fourth lord in exchange with the fourth lord or planet can be situated in the navamsha which is identical to the rashi being placed in the fourth house etc etc and in the appropriate dasha antar dasha of this planet appropriate dasha antar dasha of this planet means either the dasha of this planet and antar dasha of a friendly or another powerful planet or antar dasha of this planet in the mahadasha of a friendly or another powerful planet will also show start of a significant love relationship which can alter the life of the native and when connected to the fourth house or venus can also convert into marriage as well so in matters of love falling into relationship a in depth analysis of fourth house is very important 
in fact connection of venus mercury and jupiter to the fourth house or fourth lord will also indicate going into a relationship or a new relationship coming into your life so for any type of relationship related prediction it is the fourth house that should be very very strongly seen in fact what i have seen those who have a very strong fourth lord but if these people have a normal marriage or a very strong planet connected to fourth house then if these people have normal marriage or if there is no combination of love marriage in that particular scenario even after marriage i have seen these people falling in love for someone else which can be a reason for disruption and even divorce in marriage so at the time of match making as well this factor have to be very seriously seen otherwise the future of marriage cannot be properly predicted talking of match making you know that because fourth house indicates heart and fourth house indicates what you like and marriage is best when two people who are married to each other like each other well understand each other well also so in match making fourth house have a very crucial and very important role not in match making you say there are two type of things no two people are married and they are just living with each other sustaining with each other that is first point second point is two people are living with each other and their marriage is fantastic so two people are married and just spending their time with each other staying together only for children or for society or for family is one point but two people married to each other living with each other enjoying every bit of it what you call a blessed relationship a blessed couple the difference is fourth house only when the fourth house is properly matched in match making you can expect the marriage to be marvelous you can expect the marriage to be amazing and you can expect the couple to be the magic couple blessed couple right so matching of fourth house is very important and how to do that So I told you it is heart matter. Fourth house is a heart matter. So first thing first, you should see see three type of things are there, right? Movability is there, fixity is there, duality is there. Rashis are divided into three categories. Right? Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn are movable. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius are fixed. Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, and Sagittarius are dual. now check the fourth lord if your fourth lord is going into fixed rashi then generally your likings are fixed what you like you keep on liking that right? for example you say for a week or suppose a couple wants to purchase a home if the fourth lord is in a fixed rashi they will final an area they will find a type of property that we want to purchase a flat in this and this area and when the fourth lord is in the fixed rashi they will have a fixed attribute that no this is the place where i want to have my home and i precisely want a flat that's the thing in the case of fourth lord going into movable rashi the liking is moving right the liking is changing every week so sometime the person wants to purchase a flat in this area then the person wants to purchase a flat in some other area then they are contemplating whether i should i should purchase a flat or i should purchase a land and make home over it then they are thinking whether i should purchase a already built home so whether this should be a new built home so that we can start living or it should be an only built home so that we can live for some year then save some money then renovate it all over again so seventh lord going into movable sign these people don't want to make commitments about their likings they are they just enjoy the process right enjoy the process of shortlisting multiple properties right and they ultimately decide as per the budget and as per the situation and all these things whereas in the case of the fourth lord going into a dual sign their likes and dislikes are dwindling so they strongly like something but then they think of advantages and disadvantages also and they keep on liking it until and unless some better option comes in where they give more importance to disadvantage and go on to take the better option or until and unless better option is coming they stick to the same option emphasizing on the advantages now the basic point is see when two people are married they are going to live together of course they will make decisions together also now suppose a couple wants to purchase a property 
Now husband is having fourth lord in fixed Rashi. He have decided that I want to purchase a flat in this particular area. You say Indira Nagar. I want to purchase a flat in Indira Nagar. And that flat should be high rise above four floors. Whereas wife is having the fourth lord in a movable sign. And sometimes she's saying, no, no, flat in Indira Nagar is okay. Then after one week, she's like, no, no, flat is not good. We should purchase a land somewhere outside. should make a villa. After one week, she's like, no, 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 we should purchase a well-built home nearby Indira Nagar only because center of the city, there will be more facilities outside of the city. We have to even, you know, drive a lot for basic amenities or things will be difficult to grab by. Now, these people, because see, the relationship of marriage is that two people will spend a lot of time with each other. And of course, they will talk with each other also. They will make take decisions together and all of these things will happen in marriage. Now, if their likings, etc. are not matching, then there will be a, you know, slowly, slowly, they will start thinking that my life partner does not understand me. We are not going well. This will give rise to bigger problems. So first of all, this matching should be there. You can take it in the case of a restaurant. Hus wife is having fourth lord in a fixed Rashi. She likes one restaurant and she wants to go there only. Husband is having fourth lord in a movable Rashi. He wants to go to a new restaurant every day. So in this scenario, what will what generally happens for the first two, three, four years till you are understanding, till you are settling down in marriage, you give chance to other person, things are okay. But suddenly after four years, boom. You see that this person have never listened to me. He's always bossy. He always do what he wants to do. We don't want to live together. So when fourth lord is not matched, when the fourth house is not matched properly because the likings, likes, dislikes, preferences are not meeting, suddenly after a few years of good marriage, everything explodes. And then you find that these people cannot go together well. This is a very good marriage suddenly turning very ugly. And these are generally the cases where much harm couples do to each other. Right? Because it is just a sudden change. For some years, they people want to compromise. People want to accept. But when same thing keep on happening over and over years, right? then everyone gives up. And this creates a major issue. So first prime thing is if the one who is having fourth lord in fixed Rashi should be matched with another person having fourth lord in fixed Rashi. The one having fourth lord in movable Rashi should be matched with another person having fourth lord in movable Rashi. One having fourth lord in dual Rashi should be matched with another person having fourth lord in dual Rashi. Now, in this particular scenario, dual sign is an exception. Take the dual sign, divide it into two parts, take like 0 degree to 15 degree of dual sign is like a fixed sign. And 15 degree to 30 degree of a dual sign is like a movable sign. So people having fourth lord in movable sign are good to marry those people who are having either fourth lord in movable sign or fourth lord in dual sign between 15 to 30 degrees. Or people having fourth lord in movable sign are good to marry people who are having fourth lord either in movable, sorry, for people having fourth lord in fixed sign Better marry those people who are also having fourth lord in fixed sign or having fourth lord in dual signs between 0 to 15 degrees. Only then your likes, etc. will match. Otherwise, it will not match. Now, only this is not enough. One more thing is there. You see, Rashis are indicated in three types of Tattvas. Aries Leo Sagittarius is considered Agni. Now, Agni is driven by the force of Dharma that this is our responsibility, this is our duty, this I should do. Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn are derived by the Earth. Right? This is necessity. It's derived by Earth. Right? This indicates Earth. Earth as in money. These are money focused. Right? That for our profit we should do this. This is more beneficial. This is more lucky. This is their drive. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, they are derived by the purpose of karma, right? That karma is enjoyment, that we should do this because we will enjoy this. They will not give preference to dharma, that this is our duty. They will neither give preference to money, that this is cheaper, this is more economical. They, will, they are like, we will enjoy this more. So let's do this. And finally, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, these are moksha. So mokshas are like less responsibility. Right? They generally choose things which have less responsibility, which have 
less hustle, which have less problems and which is smoother, right? So this particular thing is there. For example, you say this should also match. Fourth Lord for both should be in a, now in this particular technique, it is not only based on fourth Lord, it is also based in the, now here, if there is a planet in fourth house, you will take the Tattva of fourth house. If there is no planet in fourth house, then you will take the Tattva of the Rashi where fourth Lord is situated. And remember the difference in the previous technique, we were checking fourth Lord for both the horoscopes. Here, reception is there. If there is a planet in fourth house, check the tattwa of the Rashi falling in fourth house. If there is no planet in fourth house, then check the tattwa of the Rashi where fourth lord is falling. So this is a different. Now, suppose one is having fourth, one is one couple husband is having a planet in fourth house and fourth house is having Capricorn, which is Earth Rashi. The wife is having no planet in fourth house and fourth Lord is into an, is into Libra. That is a Kama Rashi. So wife will be Kama focused, wife will be enjoyment focused, then we will enjoy this. Let us go on a trip. We will enjoy this. Let's go on a movie. But husband will be Artha focused, husband will be money focused, husband will be like, no, no, movie watching is a waste of time. You see how much the theater people you know, take money for popcorn, etc. Let's wait for some days. The movie will come on Netflix, Amazon Prime. We will watch it there. So this type of difference of opinion will be there because the driving force is something else. And once again, as I have told you in the starting of the marriage, what happened? You people want to settle your life. You people are trying to understand each other. So you compromise for the starting two, three years. But then suddenly what you find that enough is enough. Whatever I am saying, he never you know, adjust to what I am saying. I am saying, let us go for a movie. He is saying, no, movie is costly. That is okay. I compromised. But you see, since the last three, four years, we have never gone for a movie. He never takes me out. Right? He is just, I want to save money. I want to save money. I cannot live with this person. Such things come up after two, three years. So this matching is also important that you should see. Now, one thing is there. I will put some exceptions. Dharma. Dharma goes well with earth also. Right. Kama goes well with moksha also. So dharma, dharma is 100% good. Dharma, earth is 50-50 good. Right. In the same manner, kama and moksha is also 50-50 good. Right. But kama and dharma and kama and artha is a no match at all. In this same manner, moksha and kama is okay. Moksha and artha, moksha is dharma is no, no. Right? Artha and dharma is okay. Artha and moksha, artha and kama is no, no. Dharma and artha is okay, but dharma and kama and dharma and moksha is no, no. So in that particular scenario, rather than distributing it into four strict parts, I generally distribute it into four parts where two are friendly to each other and two are inimical to. In the same manner, it should be understood and at least 50% of understanding should be there. Otherwise, it will be a problem. So you say dharma and artha is there. So you say wife is artha and husband is dharma. So in that particular scenario, husband will say that let's do this because of dharma. Wife because of artha will say no, no, this is a waste of money. We should not do it. No, because the husband is dharma focused. Husband will be like, yes, you are right. If we save money, we can give it to our children. If we save money, we can give it to our parents. If we save money, we can do something else. So that will help me fulfill a bigger of my dharma. So that's okay. Right. So 50-50. 50-50 compromise is there that makes the condition good. So this is an exception that can be taken, should be taken. Now, other than that, now see in both these cases, now, sometimes what can happen? Husband is movable, always keeps on changing his ideas. Wife is fixed. That she wants to be fixed on one thing that no, no, we have decided we will do this. So we will do this. Only. Now, generally in such cases, what will happen? There will be no, you know, there will be no enjoyment. 
for one of the person because the wish or desire of that one person is never getting fulfilled but marriage technically does not work this way slowly slowly as you live with a life partner some understanding also starts developing you start understanding the life partner as well and eventually you realize that okay for example you say husband is earth focused wife is karma focused so initially they will understand each other they will try to compromise things will be okay then after 2 3 years there will be fight wife is karma focused he will say that this person fulfills none of my desires husband is artha focused he will say no no it is a waste of money i will not do it so eventually fights will happen and these fights also run for one year two year then in some cases what happens wife eventually realizes that no no on the husband there is much responsibility he comes from a humble background he does not come from a affluent background like me maybe some notions etc are there so we will short it out some level of compromise happens husband also thinks that no okay though i came from a humble background that is okay but now we can do things so i should sometimes i can spend money also that's not an issue and slowly slowly they understand each other and they make a balance this also happens in a marriage when this happens if the fourth lord are friendly to each other you know that sun moon mars jupiter are friendly to each other saturn venus mercury are friendly to each other now sun moon mars jupiter are inimical towards saturn venus mercury and saturn venus mercury group is inimical towards sun moon mars venus so keeping this group grouping of planets into two into mind if the fourth lord of husband and wife are friendly towards each other in that particular scenario slowly slowly over time after initial fights the husband and wife understands each other's point and then after understanding two things can happen after understanding either they come on good terms or after understanding compromise will happen now if after understanding compromise have happened then eventually it will blast then eventually it will break <clears throat> if after understanding things starts improving from both the side then it will be good so how do you do that you see it with respect to mutual placement once again i will take my example husband is artha wife is kama wife wants to enjoy go on a vacation or regularly wants to go on vacation every 6 month one year wife wants to go on vacation husband is artha he is like no no vacation is a waste of money we will not do that in starting of a relationship for 2 3 years because people are settling trying to understand each other there is no problem after 2 3 years suddenly wife starts having problem that we do not spend time together we do not go for you know any trip we always remain at home that this is very problematic husband also keeps his point that this is a financial liability i don't want to take it what happens by traveling we go to local distances that is okay going at long travel is mere waste of money also it is you know it 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 is damage to our profession as well and all of these things are happening so this is not good. now what can happen for that time being the wife can be silent that okay she continues to watch it for 2 3 more years and then eventually she thinks that i cannot live into this way we should separate that is point number 1 no compromise this is point number 1 compromise happened but it will ultimately blast because one cannot change their internal nature behavior character in the second setup what is happening after this thing some fight happens and then wife also think that his point is correct he cannot spend much money and we are going at local trips right local trips at neighboring places so that is okay husband also thinks that what i will do with a lot of money i am only earning for my wife so sometimes once in a year we can afford going outside as well and slowly slowly this change comes in life so what is happening husband is also not spending a lot of money and wife is also happy that at least we are going that's not an issue maybe you know some finances are needed and all of that they understand each other's point and things become okay now when this is happening mutual placement of fourth lord you have to see and generally 80% of the time what mistake people do that they are like sir my fourth lord is in fourth house his fourth lord is in sixth house so it is 311 to each other no whenever you are looking at mutual placement remember my point if your ascendant is aquarius your fourth lord is in fourth house that means the fourth lord is in taurus another person's ascendant is you say capricorn and their fourth lord is going into 6th house so technically fourth lord is going into gemini 
So though it looks like a three eleven relationship to you, but Gemini to Taurus is two twelve. So this is basically a two twelve relationship. So simply put, when you want to see mutual placement of planet, you have to consider Rashi is occupied by the planet in both the horoscope, and then you should see mutual distance between Rashi is because distance between Rashi is are fixed. Twelfth to Aries is Pisces. Eleventh to Aries is Aquarius. Tenth to Aries is Capricorn. This is fixed. So check where your where your fourth lord is situated. Check where the fourth lord of the life partner is situated, and what is the mutual displacement? Same Rashi two twelve three eleven four ten five nine six eight or one seven from the life partner. In this scenario, two twelve six eight and one seven is a bad match. Where initially compromise may happen, but ultimately it will blast. It will go berserk. It will go bad. In same Rashi three eleven four ten five nine, the couple will understand each other's point, and after some fights, they will they will be on good terms. Both will adjust for each other, and things will be good. So this should also be understood, right? That whether they understand each other's point, that is friendship between fourth lord will be there. They will understand each other's. but only understanding the point and then compromising only leaves you later on to realize that though i understand the point of the other person but i cannot live this way so we have to separate sadly or you have understood each other's point and then made suitable changes for your life partner also because you are living for your life partner only right life partner is 50% of life that's why she is called ardhangini right so making suitable changes also which will be very good for the relationship what is happening that should be seen with respect to mutual placements between the fourth lord which is very very important now one more thing is there you know in hindi the concept is dilon ka raja ya dil ki rani the concept is that king of the heart or queen of the heart there is just one person that you love a lot that you like a lot like mad everything about the person you love this is real love where the husband always admires their wife in all position you know you have heard that even when i am just you know awake from my sleep i am looking very terrible but still he loves me right still he likes me he likes me in any condition so in this particular scenario the husband or the boyfriend is having a great admiration and liking for is girlfriend or wife and the girlfriend and wife also likes this fact that he always likes me and this is very very good this is very very great so how this happens that you always like the other person or the other person likes you a lot that you cannot help yourself from liking the person the king of the heart or queen of the heart this happens when your fourth lord or planet connected in your fourth house if there is a planet in the fourth house take the planet if not take the fourth house. if your fourth lord or planet placed in the fourth house is connected to the ascendant of the other person then the other person because what is in your heart in your fourth house is in the personality of the other person you like the other person madly right in the same manner if the planet in your fourth house or your fourth lord is the most powerful planet in the horoscope of other because person also gets the nature of most powerful planet in their horoscope many times you will see that people have martian traits but mars is not connected to their ascendant but is a very powerful planet in their horoscope right so the most powerful planet at birth time also shapes your nature behavior character because he is the most powerful influence at that point of time when you are being born so if your fourth lord or if you have a planet connect situated in fourth house then the planet of the fourth house or if there are multiple planets in fourth house then any of the planet if this planet is connected to the ascendant of the other person or is the most powerful planet in the horoscope of the other person then you like that other person madly you can do anything for that person that person is epitome of love beauty care and everything for you right and if 
someone's fourth the the planet connected to the the planet in the fourth house or the fourth lord of other person if it is connected to your horoscope then you should know that you rule their heart and because a great admiration great love is there the relationship will be very lovely the relationship will be very smooth these couple will enjoy with each other and this will be a love relationship of which other people will be jealous of so enjoy it right so this is this particular combination right the heart because many a times what happen no people generally say sir before marriage we thought it is like this it is like that but suddenly after marriage i have lost interest in the person or he have changed right to ensure that it does not happen you do not lose the interest in the person or the person does not change you have to keep this particular technique in mind if you haven't realized yet i am telling you this is the seventh technique in the video that i have just talked about coming to the eighth technique now sometimes what happen there is a heart's desire which the person cannot say because of some reason because they think you don't understand or because you know they think that because they don't do enough for you they are not eligible to say it there is some hidden desire of heart that the native is not able to tell you but if you fulfill it you win their heart like anything like you know this statement is that he understands me like no one or she understands what i want even without telling me even without me telling the thing how to know this what the person likes this is this you can use in prashna also this is useful in natal chart as well take the fourth lord take the moon see the navamsh now see the fourth lord or moon is in the navamsh of which planet for example say mars remember first what i told you mars indicates authority so if the fourth lord or moon is going into the navamsh of mars then having appreciation having commanding position in your life is the secret heart's desire of the native whose horoscope you are looking at and as you give them authority over your like life and as you start doing things as they say they will start realizing that you are the person who truly understands them you are the person with whom they have this spark that even without them saying a single word you understand everything what is in their heart this will give a great spark between you people and will make the life partner who, who who thinks that you understand them so well right you will become their dream boy or dream girl right so this is something that have to be kept in mind right one more thing is there many a times you see love can happen multiple times also or love can happen none at all right so how many times love will happen this is also a point now which planet indicates love venus is sexual attraction i will say so open the ashtak varga of venus ashtak varga of venus right it's not sarva ashtak varga ashtak varga of venus maximum points will be 8 minimum points will be zero open the ashtak varga of venus and you see the number of points venus is giving in the fourth house these are the number of partners you are sexually attracted to in the same manner open the bin ashtak varga of ascendant and see the points in the fourth house this is the number how many times in life you will fall in love this question can love happen twice there was a book can love happen twice love can happen n number of times just check your ashtak varga check how many points are there in the fourth house love can happen these many times for example take this horoscope here what you see in the ashtak varga of ascendant fourth house is having three points so three times love will happen and in the ashtak varga of venus fourth house is having five points so to five people this person will be sexually attracted to So simply put, three times love will happen to this native. Three times he will experience extreme love. This is how it should be understood. Now one more thing is there. Talked a lot about love, but there is something related to fortune also. Great admiration comes when someone realizes that since I have married this person, my life have changed. 
since i have married this person i have became more fortunate since i have married this person my life have became better how this happens chakrashtak varga of moon your ashtak varga of moon bin ashtak varga of moon and mark the rashi is having maximum points mark the rashi having maximum point in bin ashtak varga of moon right or yeah check the rashi is having maximum point in the bin ashtak varga of moon if the other person is having ascendant or moon in the same rashi then after marrying that person your the lady of fortune will bless you and you will achieve those things in life that you have never ever imagined before this is the blessing of god and generally in such marriages such marriages last good things keep on happening in these marriages because these are blessed marriages because achievement is there and couple will live with each other achievements will keep on happening they will be busy enjoying in life only and when people are busy enjoying only depression dejection sadness such emotions don't find any place in life this is the best set so for an example take this this is the vinnashtak varga of moon ascendant is gemini you remember that ascendant is gemini now in vinnashtak varga minimum point is 0 maximum point is 8 middle point is 4 less than 4 is bad more than 4 is good so now you see in the vinnashtak varga of moon lagna is having 6 point lagna is gemini second house is having 4 5 point second house is cancer sixth house is having 7 points so sixth house is scorpio seventh house is having 5 points so seventh house is sagittarius and 11th house is also having 7 points 11th house is aries so if the life partner is having ascendant or moon in gemini cancer scorpio sagittarius or aries then in that particular scenario marrying this person will bring great luck fortune and opportunities to your life and marrying such person you will only be enjoying your life and your days will be spent in counting your blessings and there will be no place for negativity dejection depression etc in your life so you have to select one thing is there see i cannot tell you everything in one video this you have to understand if i have to teach you everything related to love etc that can be seen through astrology then i have to sit for next 3 4 days and should constantly keep on talking should not go to the washroom should not eat food constantly talk right then in 3 4 days i can cover everything that can be seen through astrology in the matters of love certainly that cannot be done so one precautionary point very basic related to match making is there if in this particular technique you say what i told you if the moon or ascendant of the other person is into gemini cancer scorpio sagittarius and aries then it will be a very blessed life okay if ascendant is in these signs that is okay but if moon is in these signs then you remember you are looking at the ashtavarga of moon and if the other person is also having moon in cancer or scorpio in that scenario your moon and the moon of the other person will be at 212 which will not be a good matching so simply here we should make modification and we should say looking at the ashtak varga of this person if the if the spouse of this person is having ascendant in gemini cancer scorpio sagittarius and aries it will the marriage will be very fortunate or if the life partner is having moon into gemini sagittarius and aries then also the marriage will be very fortunate while talking of moon i have excluded cancer and scorpio because the native is having moon in gemini if the life partner is having moon in cancer or scorpio then in that scenario is it will be a moon mismatch which cannot be said good for marriage as i have told you all just a second ago that if i tell everything that can be seen with respect to love from astrology i will have to continue making this video for three next three days that is not possible so i will leave you to i will leave with these 10 techniques today right thank you for watching the video